Now as many trips as possible with 45 degrees has to start right here. Four coffee sofa. Morning. 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 <laughs> so they <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Wednesday morning. We've just done the checkout of this boat. We are on a Salona 44 this week. Uh, we're doing a bit of training. So we've gone down a few steps on the boat, but into a more racing set, traditional sailing type of setup. Away from the Hansa, which has all the lines back to the cockpit, uh, sorry, back to the helm. And we're going for the more racing style, original style of lines running into the cockpit in the keyboards area here and a traditional main sheet that we can really power up and use and trim. And David Yo, is going to learn all of it. <laughs> and once Thank we've you. done this three days of learning, then we go back to our beautiful Hansa yachts. Yes, Hansa it is. Hansa it is. <laughs> or Solaris maybe. Mm. All right, let's get out of here. We had a sail this morning, which was great. Just a nice light wind sail, and then it died off. We went for a swim at Maslanica, beautiful. And now we have traveled our way down almost to Bowl, and we've got wind. We've now got about 12 to 15 knots. We're gonna prep this boat, and we're gonna go sailing. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah. Now the Salona 44, it's got a real main sheet. And when I say by real main sheet, a traditional racing main sheet with a traveler down here. And they have this snazzy hole to put the main sheet through. But you have to unclip it and then clip it back on. So I was like, stuff that. So we just ran it around the side and then I rigged up my own main sheet to hold the main while we weren't sailing because we needed shade. So we're gonna pull that down, get everything else ready, roll out some sails. what we use the boom vang for when you're downwind or a crosswind like this you need that twist to spill air if we had the boom vang on hard it'd be very hard to steer the boat at the moment she'd Got be it. forcing up wind so it. now you can pull the boom vang close it and pull it tight as it is yeah here i was about to go on a lesson too and look look at this He's got a t-shirt on! See Marina, I say beam reach, we're on a beam reach, that's perfect, t-shirt, good. Right. What is this? He's excited, he, yeah, he just wants to keep going. <laughs> if we were sailing right now, which would be the lazy sheet and which would be the loaded sheet? Uh, the loaded sheet would be uh, this one, the lazy would be this, that one. Alright, excellent. Okay, yeah. so when we go to tack, you'd say ready yeah. to tack, you're probably in the cockpit like this. Got it. And in this weather, we'd have this many turns on like yeah. this. Yeah. So if I said ready to tack, loaded sheet would come around like this. Yeah. Ready. Ready. Oh, okay. okay. This ready. one, we'd take it out of the tailor. Uh huh. Because that would be lazy. Okay. Take it about. Leave the three turns on. Okay. And that's ready. Oh, okay. that's ready. All right. Got it. So Marina would say ready to tack. Okay. She's getting nervous about yeah. brudge coming. Yeah, brudge coming in close. Right. <laughs> okay, and then she'll say tack it. 
Okay, so you're going to turn all the way and you're going to aim for the next shot on the other side, directly behind you. Okay. Now, at this point, I would ease. Ease. And then right now, it'll all be flapping. I'd take it all the way off and okay. let it go. And at that point, you would pull that in. Pull, 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 pull. And it you would come around. It would come around. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, 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 that. <laughs> Jib sheet, Genoa sheet. Got We've it. got our helms person with our heading bang on, just on a beam to broad reach. I love it. Sweet. And I'm going to control this furling line as it goes out so that it doesn't run away and so it rolls into the furling drum really nicely. All right, David, let's go. Love it! <laughs> is when you go from a from upwind or a beam reach to a broad reach, you go from this mode of using the sails as an aircraft wing, it. where it's pulling you yeah. and it's sucking yeah. you along, yeah. to then going to like parachute mode, where you're getting oh. pushed, like oh. you're holding up a sheet of plywood and going down the street. Okay, it. so it's you feel that it lets you go. Mm -hmm. All right, and the boat stands up a bit straighter, and it all feels a bit calmer. Got it. And it's slightly more boring. <laughs> yeah, I love the conclusion though. Boring. When the head sail starts to flutter, and I'm just going to do this for the video right now. Right there, the clue starts to drop a little further. This clue here starts to drop and shift. That's because we're being shadowed by the mainsail because yeah. the wind is directly behind you. When this happens, you want to turn upwind towards the wind until it fills and you're back in a safe, broad reach. So okay. that is your telltale, that is your, your helm? Your helm? Your helm? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. That is your a telltale to say whether you are in what we call the jibe zone or in a run. We get our crew ready to jibe. We've got someone grinding in on our main sheet because we're going to control this all the way through. Marina is still holding her current course to uh, on a broad reach. We just want to hold this until we get our main sheet in and controlled. Mahina's got the both Genoa sheets ready for doing the jibe of the Genoa because she can handle that on her own. All right, okay. As we get this mainsail more further and further in, we're going to have to go faster now because we start to lose control of the helm in heavier winds. Okay, David, go for it. Go, 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 go the other way. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, now the main sheet's almost all the way in. Keep coming, David. Keep coming. Hold there, David. Take your handle out. Winch handle out. Yep. Pass it to me. Okay, now you're going to release, uh, take that off and hold it tight. When it crashes over, you're going to release out. Hold it tight. Okay, don't hurt your hands. Okay, ready to jive, Marina? Yeah. Now we're going to, yeah, yeah. So now we're going to steer very slowly through the wind, stern through the wind. Keep going. And you'll end up heading for about bold. Okay, so you can make that turn now. Okay. There it goes. And wait for it, David. Straighten up, Marina. And easy. Easy, 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 easy. Quite a lot, quite a lot. Think about how much you just brought in. Left a little bit, Marina. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Very nice. Your first controlled 15 knot jive under full sail. <laughs> All right. Oh, ah! yeah. Well done. All right, now concentrate. <laughs> Two, to grab the rope. Yeah. Got it. Face out. Out. Keep tension on uh -huh. and keep it parallel. Okay. And hold all the way around. And then you can pull it around. I'm still holding tension on it. And my hand was completely safe the whole way around. Now if I want to put another turn on here, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have my hand a different way. I'm gonna go up here mm -hmm. and I'm gonna come right and rope through. So my hand doesn't come anywhere near the one. All right, as always, this is our learning grounds in between Brach and Khla. We're back here where there's some winds today, and we're going to go upwind and do some awesomeness, all right?
Bring those sails in. All of them in. Go for it, Marina. Go for it. All the way. All the way.